Hello, we're here to talk about how to install and configure a Windows 2022 web server. To set up a web server, we'll be adding the Internet Information Services role, or IIS. The general implementation of this role is to install the role on a Windows 2022 server, uploading the web pages and additional media, creating your DNS entries, and depending where you place the server on your network, you should consider adjusting your firewall rules. In this video series, we've been building out a Windows network. As you can see, we have several Active Directory domain controllers, an external DNS server, a DHCP server, and some domain join clients. In today's demonstration, we'll be adding server E to the network and installing the IIS role. This server's IP configuration is 192.168.1.5, and it will be domain joined. So we'll start the lab demonstration at the point of installing the IIS role. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we're going to start with this Windows 2022 server. It's already domain joined, so we're going to log in with a domain admin account. On the left, click on local server to review the local server's configuration. Notice this computer already has its name server E. It's part of the domain called domain.local. And it's got its IP address 192.168.1.5 just like we saw in the diagram. We're going to proceed by installing the IIS role. So let's go ahead and click on Manage, Add Roles and Features. We'll click Next. We're going to do a role-based or feature-based installation. So we'll click Next. We're going to install the IIS role on Server E, so click Next. On this screen, scroll down to the role Web Server IIS and select it. The wizard has recommended some additional features that should be installed. These are going to be the management tools. Click Add Features and click Next. There are no other features to install on this server, so we'll click Next. Just as a review, it notes that the default installation for this web server includes an installation of role services that enable you to serve static content. So for example, static content in this case means a static HTML file. Go ahead and click Next. If you wanted to make any changes to the role, you could do so on this screen. For this installation, we're just going to go ahead and just hit Next. Then click Install. The installation will only take just a few minutes. The installation succeeded on the server. Let's go ahead and click Close. That concludes the basic installation of the IS role. Click on Tools. Scroll down to Internet Information Services, or IIS. From here, there's plenty of options you can use to configure this server. We're not going to dive deep into the details in this tutorial. But as you notice, our default website is now running. We can actually test this by opening a browser and visiting the server by its IP address. Let's take a look at that. From my Windows 10 client, I'm going to sign in. I'm going to go ahead and open up a browser. All right, now that I have my browser open, let's go ahead and just type in the IP address of that system. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.5. Notice here we've reached the web server. You can see the Internet Information Services page pop up. We can go back to the server and now install and upload our additional static web content and additional media. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, on the web server, I can go ahead and navigate to the directory where these files are located. I'll open up File Explorer. I'm going to navigate to this PC, the C drive, folder called INET Pub. This is the default location that Internet Explorer uses to host the website, web content. We'll go to www root. And these two files represent the default web page that you visited earlier. I'm just going to go ahead and just create a test web page. I'll start by creating a text document. But we'll just type in hello world. This is enough information for the web page to be able to be displayed back to the user. I'll save this as a HTML file. Index.html. Let's go back to the IS management console to make sure that HTML files have a higher priority for loading. So let's go to this 
icon default document and double click it. We'll make index.html higher up in the priority. That should do it. Let's go ahead and close this. And let's try that again from the client. I'll just refresh the screen. Notice now that my Hello World page shows up. Now, no one wants to visit a website by IP address. So let's create a DNS entry to get us to this web page without having to know the IP address. I'll go back to the server. Okay, I'm going to log into my domain controller where DNS is running. My Windows 10 client is pointing to this system for DNS resolution. Let's click on Tools and DNS. We'll just use our domain.localzone. I'm going to right click and say New Alias. We're going to create a www record. Points to server E. Dot domain. Dot local. Click OK. Notice we have our www record. It's an alias or CNAME that points back to server E. Dot domain. Dot local. And server E maps to the 192.168.1.5 address. This should be enough for us to get to that web page without having to know the IP address. Let's go back to our Windows 10 client. I'm going to go ahead and type in a new URL to access this web page by name instead of IP address. I'll use the HTTP protocol www.domain.local. Notice we can get to the Hello World page without knowing the IP address of this system. Well, that ends this video tutorial. Appreciate you watching. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again.